Oh no! No, 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 no! That took a. Th Why did not. What? Generic intro in the deck goes. We're here back with another internet historian video. Today we're doing the Cost of Concordia, which I believe is a play on words for the cruise ship Costa Concordia, which I believe a couple years ago, like went sideways i don't think it sank no it did actually eventually sink but it was on like on its side for a quite quite a while and then it eventually sank and there are people on board so i'm not sure if anybody died from this happening hopefully that did not happen but uh, everybody in the comments on the last video which was going camping at the end of the world is the first time reacting to internet historian like the most popular request was the cost of concordia i was like yeah sure i'll do it now i saw it was 47 minutes long. i was like oh god <laughs> so it must be a really really good video thank you so much for being here shout out to the patrons because they get the videos a day early and support the channel and allow me to have a paywall on the channel because i'm here to make you small not make you pay which means you don't have to pay any money to get any of my content you can pay three dollars a month to get all my reaction videos a day early which is like 16 17 videos a week sometimes and also live stream four times a week which is also awesome saying i do it all myself i do read all your comments whether you're a patron or not whether you're subscribed or not but i hope you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos because there's going to be more internet historian coming in the very near future Future, and it'll probably a playlist form on my channel given how much success the first video had and how much i enjoyed it and how much i plan on watching of the internet historian so the cost of concordia it's a long episode don't really make the intro any longer than needs to be let's go ahead and jump on into it all right oh oh god it's satire okay uh what that was a lot costa concordia yeah everyone was asking for this it's been i read your comments eight years Wait, it's been I eight years since smell what? The buffets from their five I thought this happened just a couple years ago. The casino and three-story theater had hardly been used. Ah, hardly. The gym, the day spa, I need to go on a cruise. The I, I went on a fifteen hundred luxury. I think I went on a Disney cruise when I was like, I turned slept in. ten on it. Costa Concordia cost five hundred and seventy million dollars that's it that's nothing and you could tell you could, you could really tell that's cheap tell. for a cruise ship i don't know how much the one that uh there's one that's like the biggest one ever that like just is set and sell in 2024 i think i remember it like it was just a few years ago it's a cool looking ship we had left i love Vecchia, big boats a port i guess Rome, it's a ship and we were making our way to savona it was day two of our seven-day journey. But that huh. ship... I... She was cursed. By who? When she premiered, the traditional bottle of champagne bounced right off the side mm -mm. instead of smashing. A bad omen. But I'm not the superstitious type. Nothing could That's go a big wrong ladder. Friday the 13th. Is that really when it set off? January. 2012. It was 2012. On the 100th year anniversary of the Titanic. No, well, okay, it's the same year. It's also only safety rated for two compartment flooding. Especially not when you really? have a five-star max level captain. Like Francisco Scatino. Is he? A man who mysteriously rose... What even happened to this thing? ...to the position of captain within just a couple of years. He knows How exactly did that happen? what to do in case of an emergency. For example, when he caused this emergency in 2008... When he crashed into a port in Sicily. Oh wait. And in okay, so this ship wasn't Germany, brand new. When he was steering a different ship and came into port too fast and caused another. That's collision. not that. Um, is that no? I've got a good feeling. Oh God, it talks. So let's set the it's a beautiful evening. People are having fun on the slides, drinks at the bar. Uh. Antonio Magnotta is playing piano at the restaurant. Whoever that is. Martin the magician is setting up for his show. Oh hi Martin. And the ship. Is setting up for a little detail. Look at the waves. It's called a sail by salute. Basically, so what? you get real close to the shore and honk the horn. The locals hate it, but the customers <laughs> love it, and it's a tradition. Scatino, the captain, comes into the dining room. Nine p.m. Lady, Dominica Samorton. Not his wife, because you'll be seeing a lot of it later. Why? Scatino eats his dinner with her and socializes for a little while. I know the ship went on its side and sank, Dominica but I have no idea D why. Finish up and excuse themselves. They're heading to the bridge. It's time for that sail by salute. This time, they're going to get closer than ever. Oh, just did it run aground from the island of Giglio. And sure. how are they going to determine this distance? Well, of course, the captain is going to eyeball it. Apparently, it's not an uncommon thing to do. Scatino turns mm, to I the guess. fellow steering, his helmsman. Jacob Would it be the Rossi second mate? Or, I guess, the helmsman. First interesting tidbit. 
Costa Crochier has hired Jacob from Indonesia at a rock bottom price. And he's a bit <laughs> of a newbie to the job. In what? fact, his profession hitherto, a painter and a cleaner. It's his first time. Was he qualified? A massive ship. Five hundred and seventy million dollars? At least we think he is. It's hard to tell because he doesn't speak English or Italian very well at all. Off to a good start. The second in command orders the helmsman to 290. Now, don't be confused by these numbers. They're just the degrees on a compass. At the same oh. time, the yeah. captain whips out his cell phone and calls former captain Mario Palombo, who lives on the island. They chat about the safe distance to Giglio's shores. He lives he's on the casual. island? Anyway, Mario says that the safe distance is between 0.3 and 0.4 miles from shore. The captain okay. is going all in. Why? This is not his first sail by salute, so he's confident in what he's doing. We're going closer than we've ever Why? Are you trying to show off or something? Who is at fault for this? Again. What do you do? What did the company Maybe do? Heading of 300, he tells the helmsman. Oh. Downstairs, Martin is about to cut his assistant in half. Oh, okay. And of course, Casual. that means that there's already a lady inside this box. She's waiting for the cue, and then she'll poke her legs out. The captain is giving more orders. Pulling gently to 310. Increase speed to 16 knots. Going this fast uh, uh, is going to be a fatal error. 16 knots? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about another Knots is such a weird problem. What watch is that? Language barrier. Because at this point, the captain says, 325. But the helmsman relays, 315. Huh? So the first officer intervenes, and he goes, no, 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 335. What? Which is also wrong. And then the captain clarifies, no, 325. How do you get the that wrong? confirms 325. The okay. communication has them moving at a much wider angle. Oh. However, because that one moment would know this, except for the next problem, complacency about procedure. The standard procedure of a ship this large is for the third officer to give exact positional coordinates every time the captain gives a new directional order. Wait, really? But they're not doing that. Oh, so you skip that. He says. The helmsman relays 3:30. The ship reaches 16 knots. The captain then turns Why are you going to the so fast? and instructs him to go to the left wing. Do they really? things here, and they basically exist so you can get a better view over the whole vessel. A few seconds pass, and then Bad things. the mood starts to turn. They realize they're in trouble. Scatino it's hard to a turn a boat. Of waves breaking against the rocks directly in front of him in the distance. The Costa Concordia, right now, is almost 700 meters closer to What's the rocks a meter? than it should be. Without rocks are actually there underwater. is going to be okay. a direct collision. Nice! Oh, Scatino immediately commands the ship to start turning away. 335. Not enough. The captain shouts, 340. No, you should be the turning a lot faster than that. 350. Now, I, remember how I said that accelerating to 16 knots was a fatal error? Yeah, well, you know how hard it is to slow down a boat? Incapable of such a drastic turn. What they've got is under. Is that why it flips? an example. The front end is not working. You're turning, 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 <laughs> and you're just going straight. You want to go over here, but you're going to end up over here. So despite <laughs> the order of 350, oh, okay. right now the bow is still only pointing at 327. Yeah, because not it's going so fast. To miss the rock. And those and rocks are sticking out are going to get it. to get worse. That language Everybody get on one area. side of it. In these critical moments where every second counts, the helmsman wrongly relays 340. The captain what do you mean? Back, 350 starboard or we end up on the rocks. But it's not the even like there the yet. Helmsman. Hopefully this music is not copyrighted. Now, don't get confused by the back. orders from here. We're changing over to rudder instructions. Oh, okay. The captain yells, starboard 10, starboard 20. And still, it's not enough. Oh, I didn't realize they starboard. did that. That means as hard as it'll go. But at this point, even if they clear these rocks, they need to get the rest of the ship to swing around it. Yeah, so is there just one rock? Did they hit one rock? Centers the rubber. The bow is now less than 150 meters from Skull Rock. 150 meters on a boat that big is nothing. Five before another order is given two seconds later. Port 20. Is this how it's they made? Music. Just avoid disaster here, maybe. But then, oh no. What is one more time, the helmsman cocks up at the worst possible moment. And did he turn? The helmsman goes to starboard instead of port, undoing the swing. Eight seconds later, oh. he realizes the error and corrects, but it's too So he late. swung the back he end up. He has just turned a probable near miss into a short The 10 meters are at least only flooded. All can do now is hold on as the bow of the ship narrowly passes by the rocks. Hard to port. 
And then tried to swing it. And tried to like, yeah. Collision. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, we got a big problem now. And this thing did sink. Olive oil. Oh no. The spaghetti and meatballs. The red wine. The wrench. I don't know if anybody... Nobody got hurt in this, did they? I hope not. I bet it was fun on top of the... On the, uh, the ship. It's a, it must be a great feeling when you make a collision Down on a boat. Town. Oh, Nord Vivian. <laughs> the legendary Adreens. It's day 56 of playing Russian roulette. Seems I never win. Gonna drink all by yourself? Somebody has to. I hear I... you're a man who's good at finding folks. I'm many things. I'm looking for this fella. I got to find I'm him. Unavailable in your country. My little heart. I'll see what I can do. This I is a reference to uh, thousands old. of servers and dozens of countries across the globe. For a huge, like huge discount. Oh. She was gone. The only thing she left was a calling card. It's like one of those old private Sometimes investigator shows. A case. Reminds me of Bioshock. You back. NordVPN can protect my online data. But who can protect me? From myself. They must pay him so much for these. Easy, these are so quality. It was just another lie. Forensics <laughs> found his password the spread sandals. all the way down the block. In a perfect world, we'd all use NordVPN. But I guess this isn't that kind of story. No. I took the brakes off my car. Man like me never really learned how to stop. Shut the fuck up. I took the steering wheel out too. I let the road take me Wait, I'm sorry. Coast. There's no steering wheel? There's no brake pedal? That's right, Toots. Your husband's dead. Mary. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Go to Nord I hope you have a wonderful time saving if you celebrate. For a huge discount on two year plan. Ad? Uh, he got paid a bag. I bet people don't even skip his ad. Side. A 53 meter gash opens up in the hull. Still don't know what a meter is. Thousands of tons of water begin pouring in. A loud scraping and bang is heard by all passengers. At the helm, this oh, they felt it probably. rumblings in the dining room. Martin awkwardly pauses his act as he's helping his assistant into the box. Meanwhile, the lady uh, inside let me is out, trapped let me out. and terrified. This oh, yeah. Across the ship. All of the crew off shift come back on duty. All officers run to the bridge. Tickle yeah, no, it's bad. The lower it's bad. It's bad. Yeah, they're on trying to fix the it. Rocks, they lose propulsion and slow to 8.3 knots. And they are now adrift. Close the watertight doors at stern. Uh, Enormous volumes of water are pouring in. So wait. much so that within 29 seconds of collision, all six engines stop working for flooding. Six engines? 22 seconds later, a blackout happens. Oh, great, we lost power. Lights, electrics, the water pumps too. Everything. The captain orders That's always so eerie. Starboard. At least they're this close the to land. The position of the rudder before power to that too is lost. The Costa Concordia, now without power, is drifting starboard, plunged into absolute darkness. That's so eerie. A quick breakdown of the flooding. When the Concordia struck land, it tore open three watertight compartments. Okay. At first, compartment five, which filled very rapidly. It both then engines six, more slowly. Four shortly after, then seven, eight, and three. Modern ships are built to withstand two compartment breaches. Oh, These only two? Especially though, are a problem the because the engines they contain the engines and the electrics. They literally hit the worst These possible place. Generators give power to the whole ship, from propulsion motors. They to don't have backup in other function. ones. Pretty much everything. When they went out, the ship was a functionless sinking cage. A few seconds later, the emergency batteries okay. for internal lighting and communications kick on. And yeah, it's probably only emergency. Down. Martin has vanished. He's ditched the stage. He left. And it caused a huge panic in the theater as passengers <laughs> are trying to flee to their cabins and to Now that's the magic trick. People already in their cabins come out and start putting on life vests. Staff rally and try to calm everyone. Get down. out from Everything indoors with life vests. There's no need for vests. Please return to your cabins. The emergency. They did not tell me to go to their cabins. All of the watertight doors closed except for door 12, which huh? is jammed. 
How does that? Is Pilot, the chief engineer, as the ship begins to list on the port side. Yeah, I wonder why. Is water buy. coming in? Yes, there's water. But where? The engine room. But a lot of water? Well, yes. yes. There's water, you can't go down. Let's go down the other side. In a moment, we'll start the pumps, I'll let you know. They do have pumps for that, the yeah. The whole magic box apparatus slides right off the stage and falls into the crowd. Why, this, why is there still a crowd? On the bridge, an announcement is being prepared. They are going to lie to prevent a panic. Let's just say we have a blackout. Really? You're gonna lie and say that? The deputy chief engineer enters the engine control room. He confirms to the bridge that at least compartments 5, 6, and 7 are flooded. I bet that was fun to see. Announcements are made. Inside the ship? To inform you that due to an electrical fault, which is currently under control, it's we're not. currently in a blackout. It's Our not. Are working it's not. The situation, and we'll inform you of developments as they occur. Thank you for your Are they actually told to lie like that? Coincidentally, at the same time in the restaurant, they're playing My Heart Will Go On. And it's very much not helping the situation. The Titanic song. The and yes, I say Titanic for some reason. Yeah. Roberto Ferrarini. He tells the crisis unit that they've hit a rock, that they're assessing damages, and that they are also in a blackout. The crisis office says to reverse the ship up onto shore. Well, how are you going to do That's that? That's smart. You don't have power to the rudder, let alone the engine. You know, hoist the sails. <laughs> anyway, around this time, uh -oh. the wind direction creates a starboard list, and the ship begins to turn anyway, drifting right back. Wait, did it the turn shore, around and went backwards? Thing because you want the ship to end up as close to shore as possible. Yes, well, I mean, there's lifeboats. A panicked passenger senses that something is off. This isn't like any electrical problem that she's ever seen. Yeah, no, this is more than a just massive crashing noise, and now the ship is tilting. Yeah, so no. She contacts her daughter in Italy. Me the daughter. daughter. Then calls the police. And the police start looking the harbor master while that goes and on, they're looking at this like huh he's probably get people in the boats the diesel is not starting the captain asks the engine room, yeah probably get some boats on the shore thinking that the incoming water can be reduced captain here everything is lost the electrical panel everything they're saying at this point that the ship is going down. Yeah, no. The captain calls Roberto Ferrarini again. Uh, I, uh, I might be fired. Two compartments have been flooded. It's but story. don't worry, the ship's stability isn't in danger. He's wrong again. Wrong. Passengers Why is he lying? going to muster stations on their own initiative. The cruise director says, We have a lot of people at muster stations that I do not want to fall overboard. Do we make an announcement to tell them to go to the lounges? Uh, the says, you don't go inside with a life vest. The harbor master from Livorno calls the ship. The captain tells them that we we just have a blackout. How long is this is blackout? He, why is he lying out? about this? Uh, about 20 minutes. Have you asked passengers to put on life vests? It, it's just a blackout. I, I gotta go. The harbor master is suspicious. He it says should to be. his superiors that he thinks something more is going on. He calls a patrol boat to the area and asks them to... <laughs> yeah, they're probably like, holy crap, what did we just the find? On the Have they not made a movie about this? Isn't working properly. Pilon That's an LTT screwdriver. thing on and off with a screwdriver so that it doesn't overheat and cause a fire. <laughs> the well, I mean, there's plenty of water. The lower decks asking pointless questions like, is it still flooded? Yes. Yes, yes it is. The captain is essentially in denial of the situation. The harbor master calls again. Finally, he says, The ship is taking on water through an opening in the left side, and the ship is... Left lost. side? He really? With, no one dead or injured. The harbor master asks no one... if he needs help. Yes. Tugboat. When in reality, they need a full rescue. Yeah, no. With three compartments flooded. The captain if somebody died because of that, he really would be held liable, and wouldn't he? not going to improve. Also, it's 10.30. The Coast Guard orders every available ship to the scene. Yeah. Meanwhile, up with the passengers, the cruise director's assistant says, uh, everything's under control. In and your cabins? In your cabins or hang about in the lounges, no problem. She said this despite knowing it was wrong and that it further endangered lives. Yeah, at least they're not... At this point, the water's warm. Nonsense, and they're busy figuring out how to abandon ship. Bing, 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 bing. Like at least the water's the warm. They're close to a shore. Story, and they begin broadcasting live radio feed from the bridge. Hey, capo. Captain, the passengers are going on board the boats. Okay, How? Let them go to shore. The lifeboats? So then, general yeah, emergency. Yeah, get them off. Wait, nah. let me talk to Ferrarini. We risk the emergency generators that do not have cooling. It has cooling problems. One hundred degrees. The cooling fan has stopped. One hundred degrees. And tells the safety would that, officer would that be they Celsius? need to evacuate. The safety officer relays this to the captain, but after no response, he orders the engine room to evacuate on his own. The captain says, "That's smart. No, that might have saved lives." We'll leave it. So what do we? That's do? smart. General emergency. Oh, so this bitmojis. 
Who filmed this? The captain tells Ferrarini that he's abandoning ship. Abandoned ship. Another announcement is made. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. The situation is under control. Please remain calm. But at this time, proceed to your muster station. Muster station. Yeah. The Livorno Coast Guard calls again. I remember, I remember that actually when I was on a cruise. Coast Guard I want to go on another cruise. Operations. They contact yes, after the seeing this. Relay, the helicopter base commander, who then calls in every available pilot as he rushes down to the helicopter base. Pilon shuts down the emergency generator for the final time. The first I guess he doesn't want to be on fire. By this point, the lifeboats are already going. That's good. Luckily, the ship is very close to shore. Yeah. Oh. Perhaps too close to shore. Oh the no! Ship forcefully runs aground. That's fine. Creating an uneven center of gravity, and it begins heavily listing starboard. Oh, okay, the well. Issues a general emergency on board. The announcement to abandon ship is finally. I guess you could only. Uh, and with that, you only get on lifeboats on one pain. side. And now that they're listing, with many of the lifeboats too awkwardly positioned to be yeah. the water, there aren't enough readily available, and they have to start going back and forth to the shore, picking people up and dropping them off. The patrol boats report to the Livorno Harbour Master that, that the ship has run aground and is listing heavily. Yeah, no. So the Harbour Master asks the captain about, and the captain says, no, Everything's no, no, fine. The ship is still floating. Uh, in fact, we're trying to maneuver it onto the shore. They know he's lying. Uh, yeah, no. Hold on, I'm reversing it. Beep, beep, beep. Boy, he had the me sentenced to something. Out the starboard anchor. So they drop out the anchors, but let out too much chain, effectively rendering them useless. The deputy mayor of Giglio, Mario they know Giglio, how deep the water is. Oh, Giovanni Rossi, arrived. That eight twelve super fast. The scene unfold. As the first of the lifeboats arrive on shore, the deputy mayor takes the initiative and races to board one of the lifeboats, returning to the ship, and starts trying okay. to find someone in charge. He Wait, what? And starts helping. Patrick. He ran onto this boat. Scatino tells everyone to leave and take radios, but not before changing out of his uniform and into a nice suit. Priorities. No. Dimitri Christidis I... and Sylvia Coronica leave with him. The maitre d' and Sir Morton both get out of there. By this point, approximately oh. 300 people Two... are still on the ship. Honestly, Relay 200, 300 people is not that... The first was that an Aston Martin? The slow-moving Augusta Bell was already rising from the tarmac for the hour-long I mean, the south. boat had a couple thousand, I think. Rosio is the last crew member left on the bridge, coordinating evacuation. He then leaves to help passengers board lifeboats. The bridge is now abandoned. And then... The ship's what? black box stops working. Apparently really? There's technical problems with it. That means the black here, box things are going to get a the thing that's supposed to survive the worst case scenario stops working. Arrive, but they're struggling to find the ship because they're expecting it to still be well above water. Passengers are scaling down the port side by ladder as lifeboats return to pick them up. This is no, no joke. You know, oh my this goodness. really happened that long ago. No, no joke anymore. All their stuff was on there. Wait. You're not allowed to make a film I'm, movie. I'm allowed, I'm allowed. I'm, what? Oh, the second helicopter, dude. A fast oh my god. People that the ship tried to oh, hate you like that. Resting place. Now the Coast Guard calls the captain. Yeah. Because he's just learned that the captain has abandoned ship. The captain claims, uh, uh, no, actually, I slipped. Shouldn't you call on Mayday? One of the lifeboats. I've never had ravioli, fun fact. But now that I'm on board, I, I may as well head back to shore. DeFelco tells the captain to get the fuck back on board. Go down. And the captain kind of acts confused and then effectively refuses. So the captain makes it to shore. From here, we only have uh, mainstream news reports no to rely court on. No records? So it's not going to be super accurate. But they say that Giglio's police... Okay, now there's a hurricane. Ten survivors on the I guess it is Italy. Point Gabbianara. And among them is the captain. It's 1 a.m. It's not known whether the captain helped anyone while he was there. And in fact, the police chief claimed that he just sat on the rocks and watched other people do the rescuing. I mean... A while later, a rescue boat picks up the captain and takes him to the harbor. He speaks to the police. He then finds the ship's onboard chaplain, Father Raphael Molina. Yeah. And cry to him for about 15 minutes. <laughs> wow. Then he goes to the harbor master's office to receive probably the biggest dressing down of uh -huh. his entire life. Port authorities ask the taxi driver six nine, to six take nine, the nice. captain back to his hotel. The captain did, takes the They weren't supposed to stop there, were they? The Bahamas Hotel. According to the cabbie, he was beaten like a dog. He was cold and afraid. He only asked me where he could buy a pair of fresh socks. <laughs> but then he perked right up again and gave an interview to a news crew. He told really? me that he was the last to leave. The captain oh, really? is usually the last to abandon ship. 
What happened, Captain? Uh, we were the last to leave the ship. I doubt that. All they said, they rescue a search for people on the ship. On Sunday morning, a South Korean couple is found in their cabin, safe but shivering. Is that they from Parasite? Such a good movie. Unable to exit their cabin. Yeah, it's from Parasite. Survivor, Manrico Giampandroni was found with a broken leg. He oh. was the cabin service director. In the end, 32 people died. The oh. final body wasn't discovered until nearly three years later. A crew member, Russell Rebello, and it's believed that he died a hero helping passengers off the ship. Oh, the true the captain. The Concordia was the largest cruise ship disaster since the Titanic. Wow, I was un unaware was of... This is what happens to a 110... I was unaware that there was casualties when it's left half rolled over in the ocean. Did it actually ever go down or did they get it righted? How the hell did you right it? How do you unflood a ship that's flooding and also on its side? Yeah, the insurance company probably wasn't happy. Actually, would the business go under? Would the entire cruise liner go under? Because, like, would they get insured ever again by anything else? Oof. Reminds me of Chernobyl, almost. But this isn't the end. It's just the halfway point. Yeah? What most people know is that the Costa Concordia had crashed, many dead, and that the captain abandoned ship like a coward. But there's a whole veritable spaghetti of details oh, to it's very attend. nice. Let's dive in. Shouldn't do... <sighs> there they are. The deets. <laughs> oh. Looting? Oh god, who called it a drop? Loot box time. The Loop. Costa Concordia was more than just a floating resort. There's a mall, a casino, cha ching, cha ching. Oh. This iron chest was full of safes and cash. Oh my god, the old Overwatch boxes! Cities. And there were plenty of gamers prepared to sneak by and also people stuff. and try their luck in the hot zone. Wait, was it like under guard? Police divers reported that valuable items, once seen lying around the ship, were now Wet socks. High end liquor, expensive furniture. Dining sets, furniture from, from underwater, cash registers, jewelry and display cabinets, safes, Japanese woodblock prints by famous 18th century artists, what the city of as well as the iconic oh, no. bell, which hung from the bridge. How of the do ship. you even get it the bell out? Found. How do you sneak up? Tilts a big fuck off bell. <laughs> Who has it now? We're getting involved. Four divers who were part of the company contract to float the Concordia were spotted on CCTV sneaking out to the ship. Huh? A patrol boat was dispatched, and the men were caught inside the fancy suites with rucksacks full of stolen goods. The four men are charged. Understand. Two hundred, two hundred euros. Pension. Later on, stolen as well as legitimate items found their way to Amazon and eBay. Chips oh, from wow. the casino, postcards, and cabin How access much? cards became highly sought after souvenirs. It even has a watermark. That's the world we live in. Even made a listing for the ship itself, How? advertising it as buyer to collect. Bar and although there were plenty of bidders, eBay pulled the plug. A lot of times people, like big boats like that, they get sold for like a dollar just because they have to scrap them. And they're such a pain to, you know, tear apart and scrap. see Scatino go to jail and we'll get to that. Jail? No, prison. We have to talk about someone else. Who? Domnica Samorton. Yeah. There was speculation that she was on the bridge that evening was she supposed to be? she was the captain's mistress. Tense media speculation. Boat boo? Reports that her I think it's what the needy call it. The this directed. They denied their love for years and maintained that they were just friends. Although she did later admit to the media that she found him handsome. And how could you not? You so fucking precious. Oh you? my god. But she says there that was song. no romantic link between them. Some people would like to believe, they want to know I have something with him, it's more interesting, it's like, you know, some uh, spicy in the story. Miss Morton also loved the spotlight, however. Uh, Did she? It is on the day she'd have not <laughs> You know, she'd have not yeah. But as the pressure mounted upon her, she began making ominous threats to Scatino. What? 
Seeing he must confess. Why? That you have but one Why does it only have 52 likes? But things from here get weird. Spicy. Sir Morton is a bit of a wild Why is it spicy? <laughs> In a subsequent interview, she claimed a helicopter came to the ship well before the other rescue craft to take away a package. Huh? huh? And what was that package? Drugs, apparently. So rumors began that the ship was running narcotics for the. That market. took a. Th I did not. What? Course, a number of. I didn't expect that. Recently, have been caught trafficking drugs. As an aside, I mean, Skadina it's probably easy to hide drugs it. immediately after the crash. And he tested negative for drugs in his system, but trace amounts of cocaine were found in a hair sample. Makes it smoother and. Oh, less they did one of those. The Concordia was searched, and no drugs were reportedly ever found. How did we get here? They did one oh, of those right. hair tests. Helicopter. Oh Some no, that's not good. Again the next day, and said, "Actually, that helicopter was just for the captain as a means of evacuation from the ship." Okay, wait. So she expected to get some sort of first-class rescue while everyone else was still stuck on the ship? Yeah. Wait, how did we get here? Yeah. What? Oh, right. Sex with the captain. Divers were quick to head to the captain's cabin, where they found Miss Simorton's lingerie and other articles of clothing, as well as a makeup bag. The really? Was up. But they continued denying. Nah. Sir Morton mostly faded from international attention until she was told to appear before the court to present. But she testimony. loves the spotlight. The judge pressed her to be truthful about their relationship, or she would be held in contempt. Yeah, Tell breaking oath. Or shut up. So finally, she admitted it. See, yes, I had a sentimental relationship with the captain. Sentimental. But now, stop asking about my private. That's I wouldn't say it's private. That's pretty important to this. What is the trouble at I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Did he actually cover this? She and Scatino had been having an affair for several weeks. Oh, she just weeks. She said that on the night she boarded, she didn't have a ticket, ticket please. and didn't need to pay because nobody questions you when you're the captain's lover. The Polar Netflix Express. She gave another confusing interview after leaving court. Of course she did. I want to say that today is the second time I die because the first time I die in the night of the crush with my psychological brain and uh, problems. And today I died the second time. I died listening to this interview. <laughs> find out something that I try to hide. Subsequent to the trial, she used her fame in Moldova to become Not a out. political activist often appearing on television and radio and in articles covering protests, accompanied by pictures of her being arrested by police. Okay, that's actively resisting arrest. That's also... Uh, now you're just making a mess. What is being accomplished? It was some stuff about victims of violence, women's rights, Girl power. yada yada yada. <laughs> and interestingly, part of pushed to block oh. the sale of shares of Moldova's train network to Russia. Sure. Okay. Other uh, than that, I don't really know what she's been up to. Let me just check on her uh, ins. Oh no! Oh, no. no! 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 She's a pilot. <laughs> Lawsuits. I'm sure there was lots of them. Several civil suits were quickly lodged against Costa Crochet. And how did those go? And their parent company, Carnival Cruises, immediately <gasps> saw a share drop of 23%. Don't beat. Passengers sought compensation for their damaged mental health, lost belongings, and loved ones. Yeah. Either they allowed him to divert from his course, or they didn't know where their billion dollar ship was. Well, Within half a, a billion, days, but... Facing financial and media pressure, the CEO attempted to join the bandwagon against the captain and the crew. That was not the ordinary route. Yeah, the definitely human uh, error, but you're still held liable because... Well, uh, at the time, no. And, and was not what kind of liable? At the time, the, the ship Today, was... Junior? Claiming that the ship was not approved to deviate from the route. But that wasn't true. Approval isn't required if the ship is deviating by less than 15 miles. Or that it was against company rules. Yeah, also but also untrue. they but didn't follow protocol, but yeah. They didn't have any rules about deviating route. And they tacitly encouraged sale by salutes. Why? Now, in response Making to the suits, be like you're missing out? offered passengers 11,000 euros each as compensation. No. That's kind of small. 11,000 euros, about $14,000, is the minimum compensation for almost dying. law 
The minimum. The this minimum. This reimburse them for their tickets, as well as any costs they accrued in having to unexpectedly travel home early. Absolutely not. And that was supposed to release them from everything and anything that has to do with this accident. The minimum. I cannot ask for more than this. A lot of passengers, understandably, were not too happy with this deal, and they refused to take the money. Yeah, well, well if they took the money, itself. then that so would... they wouldn't be able to get them. anything else. We think that the compensation being offered is not commensurate. No. Compensation being offered is not Is that Breaking Bad? Costa Crochier would seen lodge it. a plea deal with the Tuscany court to pay a one million euro fine to avoid a criminal trial. The judge huh? agrees. Costa Crochier is now off the hook for all criminal. Oh, Costa is the whole thing. okay. They wash their hands of the incident and criminally the residual droplets of responsibility on onto the faces the of six staff members yeah passengers and relatives of the dead are livid that the company has been able to avoid criminal responsibility offered is not commensurate civil suits against the company continue by the way the residents of the island of Giglio also banded together and sought damages because they of what they did much. yeah no <clears throat> no more eventually passengers who refused the initial compensation of 11,000 Joined civil parties. How much did they get? Tino in his trial in 2015. It's not commensurate. They were awarded 30,000 euros each. Okay. Other cases, especially those involving lost relatives, a lot more. settled for undisclosed amounts. Yeah, undisclosed. Oh no. Wow, lawsuits. Civil. There, yeah, suits going. Attorney, mm, I have a history with lawsuits. Six real survivors Not going the way they're not supposed to. Rene and Rene, we personally. Rene and Rene. And we'll work harder than anyone to get you the most money possible in the shortest amount of time. And while on the job, a suit case cropped up via mail. email. An elderly woman, a loner. Said, Help me, Mr. Ronai, for I have lost my daughter, Eva, and my five year old granddaughter, Oksana. So Mr. Ronai agreed to speak with her. However, there were some inconsistencies in her story. Like what? Neither Eva nor Oksana were on the passenger list. Odd. But Wait Costa a minute. Is what, known was, what's her face? The mistress on there? Still, Mr. Ronai was suspicious. They wouldn't cheaty old Petey, would they? Yes, they would. I inquired further about why she was on board, especially without a ticket. Elona said, Well, I don't know, but you should ask her boyfriend. Zolt Horvath. That's a name. You'll know all the details. I'm up all night. I'm going crazy, he said. But Mr. Renai was still suspicious. Huh? Because then she asked, How much money do you think this is worth? Mm. Um, this is a huge red flag, Petey. In 20 years uh, of doing this, someone lives around and they talk about money. Every, money. Uh, yeah. Why now? Uh, Is there so someone Mr. trying to get money out of it? Out of the chaos? And sent photos around of the missing girl. The next day, the phone rang. Oh, hoi hoi. It was the boyfriend again. Uh, uh, look, there's been a bit of a misunderstanding, and the child isn't missing at all. Uh huh. Uh, and then he claimed he was confused because he had done too many drugs the night before. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, can I speak to the daughter then? At first, he was refused, so Renai said that he'd have to file a missing persons report to the police if he couldn't. The boyfriend relented. Wait, did somebody get kidnapped? That night, Renai met with Zolt and brought the police with him. He speaks to the granddaughter and asks her if she's seen Mum. Yeah, I saw her today. Today? Oh, really? Yeah, we went to the park today and we went on the swings. Oh no, the jig was up. So the mum walks into the room sheepishly. It's a miracle. And the story Oh, wait, again. Okay, really? I'm not dead, but I did injure me leg when I jumped from the ship. Oh, cool. And then didn't I didn't have any marks. immediately flew back to Budapest. Although, don't worry about checking my leg, because there are no visible marks or injuries. Uh, oh, dead. Someone tried to get money out of it. I'm beginning to think they weren't even on the boat. That, that, also, that... it turns out this lady isn't her mum. It's just a neighbor. What? Eventually, Renee managed to make the pair confess. And then they said, hey, we haven't done anything wrong. That's a lie. We haven't taken any money. That's a lie. And in the end, it looks like there'll be no criminal punishment for the scam. Really? Because Hungary, a former communist country, has no laws against insurance fraud on the books. Really? The never sleeps. Call 1-800-664-7. Oh, that's a bad idea. That's, no, he's going to hit something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That's a long, painful trip down. I don't know how to say that word. Or words. Would you teach me some Italian? Ah, yes. Oh, of course. Means get back. I am Italian. Fuck's sake. Also Hungarian. Okay. Well, Thanks. I think Polish. 
Technically. Technically. Polish the Hungary the naval to officer here. who shouted at Scutino to Vada Abordo Caso became a bit of a national hero overnight in Italy. He, like the rest of the world, expected Scutino to go down with the ship. He probably wishes he did. What did he get sentenced to? He's had to be sentenced and to when something. The captain chickened out. DeFelco was there to admonish him. And when he stopped answering the radio, he called him on his cell phone to continue putting him on board. <laughs> oh when the captain first reported just a blackout, DeFelco didn't believe the story and immediately began preparing a rescue effort, which likely yeah. saved several lives. Yes, it definitely did. His actions were applauded by most Italians who were tired of their public servants being corrupt and avoiding responsibility. Accordingly, shirts sporting Vada Abordo Caso were being printed by the end of the week. Uh, others wow. setting it as their phone's ringtone. But then, they actually got audio in September of it? 2014, without warning, DeFelco was transferred to an admin role in the Coast Guard. Why? Hear what I said, you've been demoted. DeFelco said that he had been passed up for promotion, that he had also not been told which admin office he was even being transferred to. And Why? And effectively cancelled 10 years of his career. DeFelco was Tres Furioso. Every public speculation no! was owing to bad no! blood between himself and Admiral <sighs> Delano, Modern Warfare his too. former boss. His status among the public overshadowed his superior in many ways. On the other hand, his I... boss said, ah, no, it's part of a normal career progression for I naval officers. don't and think so. And show more maturity and maturity. professionalism to advance his career. Now, it's hard to know what's true in Why would they politics, do that? So let's leave that alone. And anyway, in 2018, DeFelco said buenas noches, ya later, to the Italian Navy to become a politician. Oh, in okay. Year, he Did he actually learn something? Yeah. Senate, serving as a member for Livorno. He still serves there today. Okay. I'm the company now. I think that worked out pretty well for him. He did a good thing and got punished. And then I guess he took his fame and did something with it. Jail time, prison. Why is this so happy? After the disaster, Scatino was taken into custody by police. Unsurprisingly. Questioning. However, it was clear that this would not be a straightforward investigation. So no. the judge released him under house arrest at his home in Sorrento, a town in Napoli. Okay. By July of that year, the house arrest was relaxed and he was allowed within this general area. Okay. While under house arrest, he wrote a book. Did with he? This journalist from Rai magazine. I have no idea what it says. I don't speak Italian. I, it, but God damn it, it's too spicy. some kind of charisma going on because there's been a lot of speculation in the press that about him and the journalist with her, as well. You can't keep getting away. Bro, what? Oh, I got it, I got it. Not content with abandoning his ship. This dude is determined to abandon his wife as well. Where is his wife at? So, Scatino and five others are facing criminal Wait, he had charges. an affair while under house arrest? Away, everyone lodges a plea bargain with the court. And all of those plea bargains are accepted. Except yep. for Scatino's. Yeah, he, they want to make the him condition of the main guy. Reduced sentences, they turn on him. They must provide witness testimony against Scatino. He touched me. I don't Sarah, think Jacob and Sylvia were all given suspended sentences. Okay. Roberto and Manrico are able to opt for community service or house arrest. Not a bad deal. A good deal. Good deal. And that meant that so the victim was now all on his own. Ciro, the first officer, yeah, he done. was the first to give his testimony. On the witness stand, he claimed that Scatino was distracted by his mistress and other guests on the bridge. Oh my, oh my god. Wait a minute. That's in Alaska, I think. Over who was in command. Then it was Jacob's turn. And he Does he said, know how to speak the well, language? Now, XD, because he didn't actually bother with his testimony or his reduced sentence. He just fled the country. Oh. It took authorities 12 months to eventually track him down on the outskirts of Jakarta. Okay. And when they said, Oi, we still want that witness testimony. He just scalped again. And what? he hasn't been found since. What? Bro, he literally After just that, vanished? After that, gave his testimony, then Sil oh, look, oh. we don't have time to relitigate the whole trial. So let's just go straight to the verdict. Guilty! Yeah, yes. Big guilty. Scutino Big time. He was found guilty of multiple manslaughter, causing a shipwreck, abandoning ship, and lying to Abandoning authority. ships a crime? He is sentenced to 16 years and one month in prison. That's it? But wait, there's still the appeals. The appeals trial begins. And the verdict What did he get appealed appeal? to? Surprise! Rejected. Oh, thank God. So Scatino's lawyers appealed again. And the verdict on the final uh, appeal... 
Moscatino made multiple attempts to secure a plea deal, but what? was denied by the prosecution. Why would you do a plea deal? For the what? The prosecution called for Scatino to be sentenced to 26 years in prison, calling the incident only a got Titanic affair. 16. Oh, okay. Titanic affair. Scatino was not prison. Got him. His lawyer stated that he was waiting outside of the jail for the ruling, so that if his plea was rejected, he could immediately start serving his sentence. Oh. And with that, five years and four months what after happened? the disaster, he was finally in a cell. And he started... Did that start a sentence, or did the time beforehand count towards it? Bang. Refloated Concordia. I'm sorry, this is a Linus Tech Tip. This is a Linus Tech Tip intro! Which they actually kind of got away from Linus Ship Tips. <laughs> That's what I also want to talk about the LTT screwdriver. It took over two years and cost an estimated 1.2 billion dollars. That's beginning in early more than twice the price of the ship. They first spent two months pumping fuel from Slide the ship's it. tanks. At the same time, that's they good had environmental sea water in so that the balance wasn't affected and the ship didn't slide around. In early True. 2013, a platform was built under the ship to prevent it from falling further. That's Sponsons cool. were then attached to the sides of the ship and cables attached to the underwater platform. The sponsors were then dragged under water and opened it's up. Kind of crazy that we're able to do stuff like this. The ship could then roll over properly. By late 2013, the ship was upright once more. Was it like a tourist attraction? The sponsors were then attached to the side of the ship to help keep it balanced. And they it had now the rested partially above water, and crews could walk around safely. By July 2013, they had the floated. The water didn't they? was removed from the sponsors, yeah. and compressed air was pumped in to lift the ship. And she was ready to cruise again. Where did this time to a port she go in Genoa? To? It was a four-day towing journey to the docks where a two-year process of dismantling and recycling would begin. That same weekend of the towing, Scatino was busy. He was the guest of honor at a white party on a an white island party? in the Bay of Naples. Bro. He appeared on the front page of a local newspaper, flanked by two of Italy's most eligible under, While under house arrest before he went to prison. Makes sense. Dude, white parties are... You gotta be somebody to be invited to a white anyway, party. So well, I guess it depends on like that I remember the country, the, the area. That That's... sweet maiden of the sea. Where is the bell? And as for you, little fella. Oh, it's just like the tight end of the Titanic. I have seen that movie. Well, it's time to return you. Bye. Oh, it's okay. Good night, my sweet friends. <laughs> the bell making this out of cut it off. Six quick things. One, NordVPN, good product, check them out. <laughs> Number two, there's a new video on the second channel. You probably didn't oh, see it. Oh, in mode. Really restricted. Now it's Sounds not about right. Three, Fashion. If you've never seen the second channel before, give it a go. It's a different Only type 32 of content, videos? Put a lot of production into it. It's not just off cuts. Four, there are a couple secret channels as well, but I ain't telling you where they are. I have Five, uh, no more a couple secret channels. videos on the main channel. Back to 10 to 15 minutes and more. Is this the longest video he made? There's a Q&A coming out next week on incognito mode. It's got a ton of detail that we had to cut for the sake of brevity and will no doubt feature a ton of corrections as well. Oh, cool. That's it. Thank you. This spicy. It's spicy. Holy crap, another one people were asking about was uh, the zone between Area 50 and Area 52. Another people, people want me to watch the fall of uh, 76, which is the video I watched like the first couple minutes of, like years and years ago, probably when it first came out, my cousin sent it to me. He's also the person to show me SAO Abridged before I started reacting to stuff, so I watched most of SAO Abridged before that coming out, so Michael's ruining all these opportunities for me to react to good content, but I only watched like the first couple minutes of fall of 76, and that was pretty much it. I completely forgot that it was the internet historian until people started talking about it, but that might be the next one. I know it's kind of a long video, I want to say, and I definitely did not get that. I literally watched like the first part of it, just like the talking, I think like the nylon bag and stuff like that. And oh my God, this was wild. I understand why everybody was asking for this. I had no idea that it got this serious. I literally like saw it on the news. Like I was literally just walking in the living room. My parents would have it on the news and I'd be like, huh, it's not supposed to do that. I was like, huh, somebody's getting fired. I had no idea that anybody died. I had no idea what happened. I thought it might just like a freak accident. No, it was just uh, just people not knowing how to do their job and cutting corners and trying to show off or not being held accountable. But that was the Costa of Concordia, which is hilarious. The cost of Concordia, which 
I completely forgot about it until just now. But let me know what the next Internet Historian video should be. I hope you are subscribed to not miss future videos as we're approaching 100,000 subscribers. If we get 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year, that would mean the world to me. But I do read all your comments, so leave some down below. I'll be responding to a lot so you know I'm actually reading them. But until the next video, take care and keep the music. So